Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. Our morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with more news of a weak New Zealand dollar. It fell to 67.2 US cents last night before rebounding to about 68 cents. Obviously the Australian rate cut a couple of days ago is still having an impact on foreign investors who are used to seeing our interest rates in this part of the world being high. They have other choices, Brazil and South Africa. Now for something unusual, an Islamic bond credit crunch. And for strange reasons, the Sharia compliant bond market is worth about $90 billion and has helped finance some of these big buildings and projects in Dubai. Now under Islamic law, you can't charge interest. So they found other ways to do it by swapping assets and making profits instead. But in February, a bunch of Islamic clerics in Bahrain changed the rules and that means that it was much harder to issue these bonds. So about a half of them have been issued in this year compared with the same time last year. An interesting twist on the credit crunch. And finally the Reserve Bank was granted powers yesterday in a change in rules that went through Parliament, granted powers to regulate deposit takers including finance companies, building societies and credit unions. They will now all need credit ratings by March 2010. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was 90 at 9 for interest.co.nz.